Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make homemade eggnog for the holidays. And this kettle right here, I've got it coming up on medium heat. Four cups of whole milk. You don't have to use whole milk. Two percent's fine. To that, milk heating up, we're going to add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. You can adjust your spices to your family's taste. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're just going to whisk and bring this milk up, not to a bowl, but to a sim, right before it gets to boiling. And your cinnamon and cloves will dissolve in your milk and flavor it real good. So while that's coming up to heat, in this bowl I've got one and a half cups of sugar. I'm using Splenda, but you don't have to. You can use regular sugar. Twelve, I don't know if you can see it. 12 egg yolks. Save your whites for something else. I'm going to put them in the fridge. You can make um, egg white omelet. You can do meringue cookies with egg whites. Do an angel food cake. Or plop them down in a freezer bag and save them for whenever you want to need them. So, we're taking our egg yolk and our sugar. And we're just going to whisk it for a couple minutes. Until they start getting fluffy and light. Remember, we're on low, medium heat. You just want to scald your milk. Which makes them bubbles start going around the outer rim. Not quite to the boiling. What we're going to do is take a ladle and temper our egg yolks. Because we don't want to cook them. We're going to put a ladle in it at a time. And we escape through pouring in so you don't curdle your eggs. Okay, we're going to keep doing that until we get all of our milk in. Okay, and then that mixture goes back in the pot. And then we're still on low medium. We're going to let it go for another three to five minutes, but you got to stir it constantly. It's going to start thickening up on you. That's what you want. We're cooking the eggs so they won't be raw and it'll be safe for us to drink. It went three to five minutes on low, medium heat, so we kept stirring it, remember, constantly. Now we're going to put in two cups of heavy whipping cream and two cups of half and half. Now if you want to use all half and half, you can. I like to add half, half and half and half whipping cream. This whipping cream gives it just a nice feel. And then we're going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla. And half a teaspoon of some ground nutmeg. If you like nutmeg, then do a full teaspoon. But I'm going to garnish with nutmeg. So that's why I'm sticking with a half a teaspoon. And then if you want an alcohol in here, then you put one and one fourth to one and one half cups of rum in here. If you want some alcohol in it. Or you can put two tablespoons of rum extract. Or just leave it out like I'm going to. I have washed my bowl. That's the bowl we use for the eight cooks. We got a fine mesh strainer here. We're just going to take our egg knob and put it through the strainer. Get your spatula and help it out. That will catch any of the eggs that might have curdled on you and it makes it extra smooth. Don't skip this step. Alright, now you're going to funnel into whatever you're stored in. I've got this container I got from Walmart. I've got my candy funnel down in here. So that way I don't slosh it everywhere and it goes in the container easier. You don't have to use it. Alright, we're going to stick the cap on this container and we're going to stick in the refrigerator and let it chill overnight and tomorrow I'm going to show you how we're going to serve it. Our eggnog has chilled overnight in the fridge so let's try it and I'm going to show you how I'm going to garnish them. Make sure you stir your eggnog real good before you serve it. I'm going to serve it with a little dollop of some whipped topping. It's totally optional. You don't have to do this step. Or you can fold the whipped topping in to your eggnog. And then I'm going to sprinkle with a little bit of extra cinnamon and a little bit of extra nutmeg. So there you have it. Holiday eggnog. <laughs> 